Good morning, everyone, my Ernie family, YouTube family. I appreciate you all so much. I am going to be reading to you from the devotional book, Jesus Calling. Today is Wednesday, October 19. Okay, it says, Come to me with your defenses down, ready to be blessed and filled with my presence. Relax and feel the relief of being totally open and authentic with me. You have nothing to hide and nothing to disclose because I know everything about you already. You can have no other relationship like this one. Take time to savor its richness, basking in my golden light. One of the worst consequences of the fall is the elaborate barriers people erect between themselves and others. Facades abound in the world. Even in my body, the church. Sometimes church is the last place where people feel free to be themselves. They cover up with Sunday clothes and Sunday smiles. They feel relief when they leave because of the strain of false fellowship. The best antidote to this artificial atmosphere is practicing my presence at church. Let your primary focus be communing with me, worshiping me, glorifying me. Then you will be able to smile at others with my joy and love them with my love. Okay, here are the verses. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. That is 1 John 1, verses 5 through 7. <clears throat> the Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. That is Exodus chapter 33, verse 14. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, think about such things. That is Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. <clears throat> I like this uh, section up top to come to him with our barriers down ready to be blessed and filled with his presence i love that feeling of just resting in him it makes all the problems in life just vanish even for the moment, but then he builds me up and strengthens me so that I can endure them. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that your presence is always with us. And we need to keep acknowledging you as being with us. Because that otherwise we tend to follow our own path. 
and get frazzled. Heavenly Father, with you, our problems will just go by without much uh, effect on our emotional state. Heavenly Father, I ask you to be with each and every one of us today as we go through this life and help us in the problems we have. Help us learn to be authentic, Lord, especially with you. I ask it in Jesus' name. I pray that you be with all everyone who's reading this, following this, listening to this, Heavenly Father. Help us all to live life at, with you, Lord, because it is hard to live life without you. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you all for watching, listening, being here. I ask you, Lord, to bless them all, bless all my subscribers. Pour out your spirit upon us in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I will come back later on and show you what I've been working on crocheting wise I am working on the Liliana and I'm on round 114 I am so excited because it's almost done finally it'll be done within the next two weeks maybe even the next week I don't know because each round is gonna take a day and a half or to two days. I'm giving myself two days per round. So then I'll be able to work on the Casablanca Afghan because I've got the next uh, installment for that I just haven't started it yet because of this Liliana Afghan I want to get this done first I hope you all have a blessed day and I will talk to you all again next time thanks for watching